Just the day after Bonoboy sent his condolences to the victims of the Owo massacre by tweeting, Nothing scares me anymore. Mothers, fathers, children and babies getting killed. My heartfelt condolences to all those who have lost family or friends from terrorist strikes across our country this past few months. I stand with you. He has gone and created a hot mess involving guns and intimidation, which is very bad for his reputation. The now single singer was caught in the controversy after trying to repeatedly prove that he is Odogu by snatching another man's wife at a Lagos nightclub. However, people are more shocked about the way he handled the issue. While some questioned why he had five policemen protecting him at a nightclub, others called him out for doing exactly what the government does to Nigerian citizens. You know, using police officers to terrify and intimidate people to get what they want. Could this horrific incident affect Bonaboy's reputation and career? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Damini Ogulu, popularly known as Bonaboy, is known for his excellent music and for speaking for Nigerians through his songs. The bank on its singer equally has accumulated some sad scandals and controversies over the years. The most recent one happened at Club Cubana in Victoria Island, Lagos, on Tuesday, June 7, 2022, where the 30-year-old Afrobeat singer went to have a good time with girls. The last last singer, who recently broke up with his UK rapper girlfriend, Steph London, for the umpteenth time, had five police escorts with him to the famous club around 4 a.m. While four of the police officers reportedly waited outside the club, one of them, identified as Inspector Ibrahim, who wasn't in uniform, followed the singer into the club. Bonaboy went to the VIP section and found himself with three women already entertaining him in his arms. The Ye singer, however, spotted another hot woman and told his bodyguard, Ibrahim, to invite the woman to join him. It turned out that the lady was with her husband and his friends. A husband, hearing on Odogu's desire to spend time with his wife, said no and refused to allow his wife spend time with a famous singer. According to witnesses, Bonaboy was surprised but didn't give up on what he wanted. The clubber who was identified as Iribami Lawrence is a 27-year-old US-based who had come to Nigeria for a wedding and equally spent some time with his friends, including another of his friends identified as Tolu who flew in from the UK. According to eyewitnesses, Ireba Mi Lawrence lambasted Bonaboy and said it was disrespectful of any man to make an advance on his wife. But Bonaboy did not listen. Instead, he applied more pressure by making more advances on the lady. The husband and his friends got even more enraged with his attitude, which was when things took a messy turn. Bonaboy's police took things to a different level to scare Iriba Mi Lawrence and his friends. According to reports, he brought out his service pistol and shot it multiple times. In the process, Lawrence got hit on the thigh while his friend Tolu got hit in the head by a bullet. As you can imagine, this caused a commotion in the club and everyone ran for their dear life. Bonaboy was reportedly watching and laughing while the terrific incident took place. In the middle of the chaos, he left and drove off to one of his lucky Phase 1 homes. On June 8th, around 7 pm, a Twitter user with the handle at the Flow Wolf tweeted and said, I can't even tweet what Bonaboy's people done to my guys in front of my eyes at Club Cubana yesterday because I still can't believe it. Another user named at Answer Truth replied to him saying, If there's a proof of what you are saying, tweet it and drop your proof including both sides of the story. Tired of seeing tweets saying he did this and that with zero proof of news about it. To which the Flow Wolf replied, Proof over choke, no worry yourself. On Sunday, June 12, the Twitter friend of the victim finally came out with proof. In a thread, he narrated what happened and how Bonaboy's police officers abused his friends. The Flow Wolf tweeted with some photo proofs of his victims in hospital and said, My guys came to Niger from England and USA respectively for a wedding. I invited them out to Club Cubana. A petty altercation with Bonaboy's people arose cause of woman. The next thing, bullets started flying. One got scraped in the head by a bullet and the other one got shot in the leg. When we rushed him to the Naval Medic Center, they said they had no blood and needed three pints of O plus blood and said none of us can donate because we had been drinking from the club. And then my friend started to shake on the hospital bed like he was losing his life. 
Two good Samaritan soldiers then offered to give a pint of blood each, which was then used to stabilize him. The doctor said the iPhone in his pocket, which the bullet went through, slowed down the bullet, making it less fatal. The iPhone saved his life. By the time this tweet went viral, the Lagos police had taken the matter seriously and proceeded to arrest Bonaboy's policemen escorts involved in the case. Aware of what he had done, Bonaboy took the next flight out without even informing the policemen. He only made a video call to them to inform them that he had travelled to Spain. All his police escorts have been arrested and are currently at the command headquarters, said a top source at the office of the Lagos State Commander of Police who spoke to Sunday Punch. Sources close to the victims are crying out and claiming police were trying to protect the Grammy Award winner because of his status while the victims are fighting for their life at the hospital. One of the victim's brothers, named Jide, said his brother had undergone surgery to remove the bullet dodged in his thigh, which validates his blood-stained pair of jeans. After arresting and detaining five policemen escorts, the Lagos State Police Commander's Special Squad charged them with attempted murder. In a statement released on June 12 by the spokesperson of the State Police Command, it was reported that the police boss condemned it and ordered a full-scale investigation of the incident. Also, Bonaboy's manager, his mother, Bose Ogulu, did not and is yet to respond to police inquiries, but the spokesman for the State Police Command, Benjamin Hondain, said the focus of the investigation is the police officers and not Bonaboy. Benjamin Hondain also claimed that the police had not received any complaints from the gunshot victims either. As you can imagine, people are reacting and here are some of the interesting ones. At Anthony underscore Fedora tweeted, so Bonaboy and his boys got into a fight with some guys at Kubana and they brought out guns and shot the other people. His police escort also damaged people's cars while trying to create a path for Bona and his boys to leave. This is a role model and this is Nigeria. At Annabelle underscore Zoe tweeted, Bonaboy will be always deceiving people with activist songs but he is a terrorist gangster in real life. That was why it was banned from clubbing in the UK and in the US. At underscore Ashiwajuleri tweeted, I'm in a toxic relationship with Bonaboy. On one side, I love his music. On the other side, I dislike his Jagidi Jagon personality. At David Ondain tweeted, I'm sure if you take Bonaboy's security away and put him in the same room with the actual kind of gangster he's always role-playing, he will wet himself. Insecure idiot that went to Corona school but is out there waving guns and acting like the hard man he absolutely is not. At Elcross Media Hub tweeted, Oh Mo, Bonas attitude wears me out. Sigh, I honestly just want to enjoy his music and care less about his behavior outside. But Mama not just the helping fans defend him at all. Hmm, what do you think about the way Bonaboy handled his dirty laundry? Was it right for making an advance on another man's woman despite being told to stop? Would you say he left the mass and ran out of the country to save his reputation? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.